Hello Amazon.com and all you materialistic minions of mine out there. This wristwatch vo voice recorder is what I am bringing to you today. Uh, compared side by side with the Apple Watch so you can see the similarities like so. The Apple Watch of course does not play music and that is one of my favorite features with this little guy. Eight gigs that you can smash into this thing. That's, that's a lot of music. Uh, but the main purpose of this thing is actually to record your voice. So this little slider switch right there, I'm gonna turn that on and you can see a very, very subtle red light right up there and it should start recording my voice uh, at some point during this video. Uh, it just automatically starts recording. So if you're at a com in a sensitive conversation of some kind, all you have to do is reach down, flick that over and inconspicuously, no one realizes that you are now recording their voice. Now do keep in mind that the audio quality is not the greatest on this thing. We're not talking uh, industrial, industry standard, uh, you're not gonna be, this is for voice memos or, 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 or secret type conversations. You're not gonna be recording top quality music uh, for your, your uh, mixtape that you're going to burn. Uh, now, let's break down some of the features of this little guy. You'll notice on the very back there is labeling. You can barely see it. It basically says off on. Um, it's very simple. There's basically three buttons. So there's the off on switch. And then over on this side, there's volume up and volume down. If you hold it down. So hold it down, volume goes up. Hold it down, volume goes down. To change tracks. So forward, one click, back, one click. Th that's really it. That's that's all there is to it. Very very simple, clean uh, face. It it doesn't actually tell time as as far as I can tell. It's just a fancy looking little tight bracelet. Now one thing to keep in mind if this is going to drive you crazy, um, notice that the band is sort of made out of rubber, and uh, see see these these little nubbins right there. These those nubbins correspond with this. The, those little holes. And it really takes some force to smash those nubbins into the holes. There we go, finally got it. So it, when it's on your wrist, uh, it may take a good 30 seconds to really smash this thing in here because you, of course, you don't want this falling off when you're on a jog or you're going gallivanting around the galaxy. Uh, so just keep in mind that it might take a while. In case you're wondering what comes with uh, this thing. Well, headphones. Cheap little headphones. Cheapest headphones I've ever had in, listened to in my entire life. I would throw them away immediately. They probably cost 50 cents to manufacture. And rather, get your old iPod headphones or get something from Walgreens for dirt cheap. It will sound infinitely better. So much better. I was actually a little disappointed when I first listened to it and thought, these are awful. What? I get? This is awful. And then I put in headphones and the bass was absolutely stunning, even with these little headphones. So the amount of quality of music that you derive from this into your little fuzzy ears depends greatly on the quality of your headphones. So keep that in mind. If you're buying this, maybe consider buying something else on Amazon uh, that will allow you to listen to the music through some fantastic headphones. Now this is how you um, charge it. So there's a little rubber thing that you kind of have to get your fingers and peel this little rubber piece off and that exposes the port. So that is nice, the fact that they cover up the port in case you get caught in a rainstorm with your love. And then this little guy, just remember the teeth on this thing. There are teeth on one side. The teeth go up. That's all you need to remember. So the face is up, teeth go up. If you don't remember, if, if you don't listen to uh, heed my warnings, you're gonna be going back and forth, back and forth, upside down. So teeth go up and this little guy pops in like so, okay? And that is how you basically charge it. Uh, it says uh, one hour charge time, 20 hour play time. Honestly, I didn't even get to that point because that's a lot of time for an MP3 player. Uh, but how it shows up on your computer is exactly like a flash drive. You just drag MP3s over onto it as if it's a flash drive and then unplug it and they're loaded on there. It's very, very simple. Now how you play this thing, and this kind of threw me for a loop initially, you'll notice that there's no headphone port on there. That's because they give you this little guy right here, which if I were you, I would just keep it permanently plugged into your headphones so you won't lose it. And then that guy plugs it into the USB port where, uh, or the mini USB, I don't know what kind of port that's called, but it plugs in exactly like so. 
And so, now I can pop these little guys in, and uh, what, right when you plug the headphones in, that immediately turns it into play mode. So it's no longer recording your voice anymore. So I, I just turned it off, make sure the little red light goes away, and now we're gonna turn it back on, and now it should be in play mode. So if you look very carefully, you'll see the little red light. It's starting up, and you'll know that it started because it automatically plays uh, the song where you last left off. And oh man, I had this cranked up, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was rocking out. Um, but of course, to uh, turn down the music, you just hold down that again. So hold it down, and then it goes down. Again, to change tracks, bam, or bam, back and forth. So that's it. It's very, very simple, so easy. And as a matter of fact, I can hear my voice that I was just recording on this thing for this video. That's amazing. Can you hear that okay? Ah, fantastic. Anyway, I love this little thing. Um, very, very decently priced. Uh, of course, the headphones kind of threw me for a loop, and I thought, nah, I'm not going to give this a very good, good star rating. Um, but the fact that this works so well uh, for uh, such a decent price, for that, I do give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, if they charged more for these headphones, I'd give it maybe a 3 out of 5 stars. But you can tell these were just kind of a, an add-on, like, hey, here you go. Odds are people are gonna have five headphones in their household already. Um, so they just probably threw that in just to placate people. So overall, highly recommended if you are on the go, if you are on a bus or uh, an Uber driver, and uh, you want to listen to some music when you're on the go, uh, but maybe you don't have your, your iPhone with you, or maybe you can't afford an iPod or iPod Touch, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, one last thing, I would not recommend it for working out because of course it's on your wrist and, and you are tethered. Uh, and so as you're jogging like this, it's gonna pull out and everything like that. Don't, don't do that. Um, unless you have skinny enough arms that you can put this over this like right like so. Ooh, what a remarkable invention that would be. Ooh, isn't that a good idea, huh? Huh? Bit super lightweight and just right there and a small little tether and then you can go and lift weights or do your CrossFit madness or whatever you like to do. Overall, five out of five stars. That's my humble opinion and I hope that this is helpful in determining whether or not this is the right uh, voice recorder watch MP3 player for you. My name is Bo Shevesu. I look forward to testing and reviewing more fun things here on.